Thank you very much and a very warm or cold welcome from Germany here. My name is Oliver Hill. I'm the Managing Director of XDepot, XWerk and the topic today is XNAP. So I've been in the field for about 17 years now, managing my old company ZFX. And now with these new projects and new IPs, I think we have developed something really nice for dentists and for dental technicians in the, in the digital workflow. <clears throat> if you look at the first slide, you see there are coming more and more interoral scanners into the market. Um, the scanners are getting better and better. You see different, uh, the main companies like iTero, um, Meadit, uh, Shining 3D, Run, yes, Up 3D is coming now. So the, the interoral scan field is getting better. The accuracy is getting better and better. And um, therefore, you can really, from the, from the clinician point of view, you can really do mostly everything with the interoral scanners today. And this is also very nice for uh, clinicians and dental labs. But today we see some dental labs are facing really issues in the digital workflow to really stay from A to Z. So if you, if you look at the slides here, some users are using Playmobil to connect or some holders on the backside of the models, what you see below, where the rotation field is like this, or they only have these stop points, or they take the digital models and plaster them into an articulator, which is also not the best way, in my opinion, to continue a digital workflow. So our idea was with XSnap, to really create a digital workflow from A to Z, not using any plaster anymore, just to be um, digital. And for the restorative part, in most cases, I believe we need a digital model and a digital procedure with models for test drive, the occlusion, approximal contacts, under, um, opposing. So um, if you put ceramic on top or implant cases, you mostly need a model today. And even the dentist um, needs a model sometimes to know where to put the teeth into the mouth. It's a helping model. It's also a control model. And um, that's the beauty if you stay fully digital. So we invented XNAP, the first generation, what you see here. It's a condyle pathway and a condyle, what you click together. So you attach this in the model builder of ExoCut or 3Shape or now with Shera um, and BIS, the new model builders in, in Germany. You attach uh, the libraries directly to your interoral scan into your model and then you click it together and with the clicking you snap it in that's the idea with x snap you snap it into the, up, uh, the upper and the lower together and with the condyle pathway you have a kind of moving in the model as what you see here is uh, for half jaws we have x snap light it's just an open and close and therefore you can also make uh, left and right movements uh, but for the full arch cases, we have different libraries. Um, in the new ExoCut and 3Shape version, you can control the adaptation, the whiteness of the, of the attachments, what you add to the models, what you see can see below. And with the two pathways, you have synchronized moving. I see from the side, you have a lateral movement to the left side, to the right side, and the protozoal movement. Um, for double checking the, the canine or the, the occlusion and uh, the, the, the movement of the, of the patient. This is an immediate articulator, so it's not uh, a special full high-end case. This is the topic at the end of the slides. This is just the um, immediate um, average um, articulator with 35 degrees or what you see here, 20 degrees, 30 degrees, 40 degrees. So you can choose for the different restoration, what you have is a young patient. You need more like a 35 angulation. If it's a very old patient, the abrasion of the teeth is very uh, moving forward. Then you can take a flat one, like a 20 or 15 degrees angulation for the flat movement of the, of the, of the articulator. I brought this. I, I hope you see it. It's like um, the moving is really nice to the left and to the right side. You can double check the control and yeah, and this, is, this is 35 degrees. It's uh, synchronized to the ATEC system, for example, from Amman Gibach. It's the immediate average um, condyle pathway for most of the patients what works. Also, we have created in the new libraries, uh, retrosion um, slide means there is a small 
um, a small joint system on the back side where you can press, as you see here, where you can even press then the, the upper on the retrusion movement. So not only protrusion and uh, laterusion, also retrusion. This is a nice gimmick and most of the printers in the market can print this tool and then you have a nice retrusion also in your models. <clears throat> what we have also decided is beside the retrusion, uh, we uh, implemented a small hole into the um, pathway that sometimes when you don't want the movement, you can stop it in the zero position and therefore you need this little hole. You can see it in this clip here, how the technician, we have created the hole in the dimension that you can put any of your tools from the laboratory or dental clinic and stick it on the backside. So this is now an just open, close clip club. And in the, in the way when you um, <clears throat> release these tools, then you have the functionality of the side movements and protrusions movement, <clears throat> and retrusions movements. I think it's a nice tool. Sometimes you don't need a movement. Sometimes you need a movement. So with the small hole, uh, you you can create and, and make your prosthetic however you want. And there you see also the retrusion. <clears throat> <clears throat> we have created also different kind of incisal pins in the first generation. Um, here you can see um, we have lift the bite on two millimeters. Then you can also lift the condyles of the average uh, XNAP system and also lift the incisal pin on the two millimeters. <clears throat> and you can also decide if you want to place the incisal pin in the front. But if you have a nice restoration in the front teeth and you need the space for your uh, ceramic work, then you can also put it interdental. So you still have a stability on the back side and the freedom of the ceramic on the front side. And we have created also now with a new generation for the LFCNA and also for a three shape, we have created now the different kind of incisal pins. Means you can have the flat incisal pin, you can have different lengths in the libraries, you can have um, angulated incisal pin. Means when you make the condyle on the back side with 35 degrees in average, you can also put the incisal pin with 35 degrees. So it stabilizes. And with the movements, I think it's a nice tool in 70, 80% of the patient cases. In your daily work, you just attach this um, uh, XNAP to your models and the incisal pins, and then you can do your restoration and prosthetics. But does it go any better? I think so. We have also created the TDM. It's uh, the third generation. It's a true dynamic movement. This is also implemented in the ExoCut uh, version. And how it's working, I show you in the next slides. But it's a nice tool because normally you don't have only one condyle pathway. A patient mostly have, for sure, <clears throat> a lot of pathways. But we say the three main pathways. <clears throat> And there you can see also um, you attach this to the models and you have also something for a rubber bench. You can uh, connect the upper and the lower so it feels a bit kind of, um, you can see it here, it feels a bit nicer when you open and close because there is a functionality in the opening and close, like a small joint. How does it work? Normally, if you look at the patient, uh, to the, the movement of the lower jaw to the right side, to the left side, to the front. And this is the same what we do with the condyles at the end. The condyle ball, what we have in XNAP, it goes to the front, goes to the side, goes to the other side. So it means three pathways. So when we animate this now, we connect this for the simulation to, your, um, to the nice head here. And then when you start the moving, you see exactly where the condyles of the patients are moving. One in Z to the back, one to the left, and one to the right. So it means we have created now three different pathways. What we have implemented, what you can see here, the blue one, um, the red one, and the green one. And so this is also an average pathway. It's not an individual one. In this moment, it's the XNAP TDM, what you can have for ExoCut and 3Shape and uh, Shera and all the model builders. And, um, but it's, 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 it's a synchronization of a, of a standardized pathway of an average patient with 35 degrees. So we have um, 
we have seen that also with Artex um, system, you have these three lines, and we have created this in the three lines. What you can see here is a short animation. You move the upper and the lower jaw. This is the same what the patient is doing. And then we attach the three slides, left, right, and front, to the model. And then you attach this to the model. So it means uh, it's not only one conduct pathway, it's three conduct pathways. To the right, to the left, and to the front. And you can open it and put it on the table and close it. It's a helping tool. And there you see also the rubber band that you will connect it and it feels nice when you do the movement. I like it. I like the song. <laughs> and this is also included in the Exocut and Free Shape library. And then you can see the daily work. So now at the moment we have about two and a half thousand active customers working with XSnap. And we see more and more cases coming to us, uh, demonstration of byte splints, demonstration of lifting bytes, using TDM, using XSnap standard, um, using also the system for bigger cases, not only for small three unit bridges or four unit, even we see full arch cases now um, with the XSnap system. It's always de depending on the, on, the, on the level of the laboratory, of the speed of the laboratory, but I think in 80% of the cases, the, the XSnap um, average, median average uh, condyl pathway is perfect for most of the cases. What you see here is um, just uh, for your information, we have it. Uh, we have the libraries for three shape. You can buy them at X Depot at our online store when you type in the um, dongle number. And when you want to release XSnap for Exocut, you need to contact your official Exocut dealer, and they can release the module. If you have a free Exocut version. Then you can also go on the web shop of Exocut and just purchase, purchase it there. It's a one-time fee of 400 euros, so it's not too much if you look what plaster or other things you need in your laboratory and 80 euro license from the second year. So I think for the benefit of an average model in a digital workflow, it's a nice tool and the value is really where it should be. And um, I think. Uh, we see more and more customers using it because it's a really good helping tool for the dentist and for the dental technician. It doesn't matter who's using the intraoral scan, who's printing, um, and which kind of cut software you're using. The new designs for the LFCNA, um, yeah, we have adapted some more angulations like 15, 25, 35, and 45 degrees, and also the same as I said before with the incisal pins. So you synchronize the condyles the condyle pathway with the incisal pathway, and um, then you can do a nice stable, stable, stable uh, movement. Here, um, just a customer sometimes ask, when do I use, or what the topic today was also, what, when do I use uh, 15 degrees, when do I use a 45 degrees? I think uh, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a feeling what the dentist or the technician has when you see the teeth, like in the picture, it's a very abrasive uh, restoration or very abrasive teeth. So in this moment, you just need a 15 degrees angulation or maybe 10. So you don't need to go very deep into the fissures and out because they are flat. So you use a flat condyle pathway. And if the patient is very young and the teeth are very good, then you need more like a 35 degrees or 45. But in average, 35 degrees as um, Armand Gebracht with Artex, uh, I think this is the same philosophy what we have. And then you can restore and make all the prosthetic for most of the cases. But for sure, it's your decision at the end um, how you want to create it. Um, for LFCNA and also for 3Shape now, there are new uh, functionalities and auto adaptation. So means here, when you attach it to the model, in the past, we had the problem that you have to put printing pins, but now we extend it. And so you can have it on the same platform as the printout. So means you don't need any printing prints below. And a nice tool is um, that you can adjust also um, the, the, the condyle um, bowl. So you mean to make it 
depending on your printer, you can make it bigger and smaller. Means the condyle pathway is more stable or less stable, a bit kind of loose. So you can just control by a three shape or exocut by default how big the size is of your ball. You make this one time for your printing system, what you're using in your practice or laboratory, and then your moving is always the same feeling. And uh, you should adjust this one time. The default is most of the cases uh, correct, but not any case, every case. So therefore, you can make it bigger and smaller. Our tip, uh, baby powder. If you put um, some baby powder into the condyle and the condyle pathway, then you can um, you can um, uh, you you smoothen the surface of the print because the print is always a bit kind of rough if you look into the microscope. And um, if you put baby powder on the condyle pathway and the condyle, then the moving feels really like an articulator moving. Also, if you have controlled the ball size perfectly for your printer, and then you put the baby powder, it's it feels and with a rubber bench, it feels like a, a real articulated model. Yeah, the auto adaptation here you see it again for the printouts and the condyle pathway and the condyle size. You see this here. This is done with the X print on the X resin. Um, it's a nice soya based uh, resin and it feels like a stone model. So uh, when you have it's not too loose, it's stable. So I like it. I'm also a dental technician. So I like it when we are working with it, when it feels like a stone model. And the surface are really smooth. Uh, we have also the flex plate, but most of the printers today have a flex plate. Um, we just recommend this because then you can lose the models very easily from the platform of printing. Yep. And then when you have printed it, you just you click it together, the snap, X snap, and then you can perform the movements and then you can feel is the ball size big enough or small enough do you want to have it more stable less stable so this is where you can adjust um, your feeling of the moving of your articulator updates for this year and next year so we're working on more and more libraries and more and more functionalities um, uh, we are always continuing to give, give you more solutions like you see here, the row of um, different angulations, the um, TDM version as well. And also now we have, um, this is very nice, it's, um, it's an incisal pin with two stop points. Means when you have a lifted bite like this, and you need to know the zero position with the incisal pin and the two stop points, you have the perfect zero position. And with a full arch case, when you do the moving, then you really know where the T's are, where the opposing should be, even if there is no opposing. So you can stabilize. You can also put an incisal pin and the stop points in the interdental. And if you want, you can even still add an incisal pin to the front. So if you have the feeling it's a bit kind of loose or the full arch case is a bit kind of, yeah, we need more stability, you can add as many attachments as you want to stabilize the moving. The good thing is you just print it without, with the models, without, you print them out and then you have it. Um, this is the TDM again with the stop points just from the back side. I think it's a nice optic and um, here you see still the rubber bench where you can put the rubber on top. Uh, the dies, um, the cutout. So I think the technology is moving so fast, the inter scans are getting more and more. The dentists ask for this kind of solution. And I think this is a nice solution for a really digital workflow from A to Z. Here you can see, as I said, the stop points. It's a full arch case without uh, the lower. So you still have the zero position and the moving as the patient is doing it in average. It's a 35 degrees average. I just want to repeat this because this is the still the XNAP version for exocut and 3 shaped. What is XSnap 360? So most of the people come, yeah, this is not really the one what we need and the condyles are more on, on a different position and how can you say this is working? So I think this average pathway, what you have seen now before, is a nice solution for most of the restorations. But if there are customers who are using Cebris or Mojo and they have the digitalization of the moving of the condyles, then we have created this XSnap 360. 
what you see here is uh, one of the first jaws what we have created. You see there is an incisalpin. This is now a little bit big. It's getting smaller in the future in the new version. But you see it's an individual incisalpin moving and an individual condyle on the back side. From the top side, we see it again and then print it. How is it working? So first of all, if you use, for example, a virtual articulator in 3Shape or ExoCAD, doesn't matter if it's an Artex or SIM, we can even, and you finish the, your restoration in the virtual room with your virtual articulator, then you have done this nice job, but you don't have the model what is synchronized to the things what you have done in the virtual room. So what we have done is also, you can load this case into the cloud from us, xnap360.com, and then you can do the same movement as you have done with the restoration before. And then it's cutting out exactly with the virtual articulator, the moving out of XSnap360 out of the condyles. So with Cypress, for example, as a short movie, you go, um, this is nice, you go into the cases of XSnap or, or ExoCut, you load the complete project, what you see now. Then you start, this is all cloud-based, what you see here now. So this is not ExoCut and not 3Shape, it's a cloud version from us, xnap360.com. Um, then you position your upper and lower jaw. Um, it's also a small little model builder, but if you have done the models already uh, and the restoration already, then you don't need to build the model because this comes from your ExoCut or 3Shape software. So it's how you start now, you attach the closed XSnap condyles and you attach the closed mesh. It's a mesh which is fully closed. You attach this into your case of um, ExoCut or 3Shape or the Zebris informations or virtual articulation informations. Then you just go on next. You select all different kind of um, articulators. This is now the Artex. So it's loading into the real position of the case, what you have done virtually in ExoCut or in 3Shape. You can even change it. It doesn't make sense because in the XML file, we can see how the condyle stands. But you can change it if you want. But it doesn't make sense because your restoration is already created. So you should leave it as it is in the virtual room and then just cut out. What you see here is now um, uh, when you don't have a Z, uh, when you don't have an Artex information in the XML, but there is a Zebras information in the XML, we can read this also. We can see that there is a, a real measuring of a real movement, and therefore this was the idea of XNAP 360 is that we um, that we match the Zebras information into your jaws. Um, in the next version, um, this is um, you don't have to do this again. This is three point matching. You don't need this in the future because we automatically know where the position is and the XML and the moving. So this uh, one minute of uh, three-point matching, you don't need in the future. I just um, show it here in the movie because uh, this is now eight months old. So there we still had to three-point match the Zebras information to the patient information. But as I said, this we can save. Now you see the condyle pathways of the patient, the three ones, the three main ones. The green, the red, and the blue. And this is exactly the patient moving. So it's a zero position. And now when we click on start, it's starting to move the condyles of this individual patient information from Zebras to the left side, to the forward side, to the right side. And at the same time, what you have seen now, now is it's cutting out the, um, the condyles in the back side. So this is an individual condyle now. It's a killer application, what the University of Munich always says, because an articulator cannot do around uh, moving, uh, only flat in, in all different kind of angulations, but always flat. But we in, the, in this um, xnap360.com, we can really do the individual moving and cut it out. And when you click on save now, it's automatically saving back to the folder of ExoCut or 3Shape where the case came from. So uh, you can understand like this is a cloud version what goes into your computer, looks for the projects, you select the project, bring them into the cloud, you do the moving, you do the cutout, and then you bring it back after saving automatically in the folder where it comes from. So you can stay in the workflow, whatever you want to use, whatever workflow you have with printers or slicing software, you just go into the cloud, individualize it and go back into the, um, into the folder where it came from. 
we have the idea um, of XNAP 360. Um, you can also go on the uh, dentaldepot.com website. Um, there are X coins, means for each um, individual printout, what you see here, you pay one X coin. And this is now two euro 90. If you buy 100 X coins is one euro 70. So for a full adjustable individual um, articulated model, I think this is really reasonable. And, but if you say you don't want the coins, you just want the ultimate version. We have also an ultimate version. It's uh, 1,200 euros. And then you buy it one time, you have a 300 euro license fee per year. But then you can do as many printouts individually from your Artex, from your SAM, from wherever it comes from with the Cebos information. And um, you can do it individual and then save it back. So I think it's a nice tool to have a really individual movement. And this is respecting all the information about the tooth, about the abrasion of the tooth, about the condyle information. So it's a real individual model. And you can do whatever you want with these because I think they are so accurate. And you can also adjust and put two incisal pins, also one to the front, then it's even more stable. So you have the flexibility and you have individual models. You don't need to go back to the plastering world. You can stay from A to Z in the digital world. Yeah, here's some, some examples. And we always need the zero position. What is interesting for the prosthetics is the zero position and the first two or three millimeters. So we don't need to know where the patient is moving around in the head. We just need the zero position and the first one, two, three millimeters, because there we know how we need to make um, the prosthetics. Yeah, I'm very proud. We have now for XNAP the European and the US patents, also for XNAP 360. So uh, this we got approved this year in March. So it's really nice. And we try to work with more and more companies like Shining, like Medit, like others to connect us um, directly. Also 3Shape Unite connect to our cloud or maybe other platforms we can cloud connect them all together and then you can make individual models. If you like to join, I'm just finishing now. Um, I hope yeah, we're good in time, 40 minutes. Um, on 27th of September, we have our nice uh, Wiesen event. Uh, Wiesen means Oktoberfest. We are here located in Dachau. It's uh, 20 minutes away from Munich. And you're very invited. We have uh, really nice lectures. We have Rune from 3Shape, uh, one of the first employees. We have uh, Noki from Exocut, one of the boss, uh, the chief uh, from, from Exocut here for lecturing about AI technology. Um, I think there's coming more and more new innovative technology and you will get the latest update um, there from really good key opinion speakers, from the producers, from the University of Munich, for example, Professor Schubert, uh, Dr. Schubert and, and Schweiger are there. Uh, Hans-Jürgen Stecher from the Master School of Munich will be there. Uh, Gulshan um, will come from, from, from London directly here. So we have the whole day from 12 o'clock, we have lectures here. And at the same time, we have the whole building here, we have battle stations. Means when you really want to compare printers, we have the main printers, Formlabs, Sprintray, Xprint, we have them all here. You can really directly compare them. And um, you can see the interoral scans from all the main brands, like six, six interoral scans with, with specialists for demonstrating um, laboratory scanner uh, machines we have here. So you're really welcome for having the whole day lectures or battle stations. And at the evening, we have a nice little Oktoberfest here in the building with some beer and some pretzel and some food. So you're very invited. Just check uh, on the homepage of um, www.x-dentaldepot.com. Register yourself 99 euros the whole day ticket, including the food and evening event. So I, I would like to have you here, um, I, I hope you um, got a good impression from XNAP and from my side, and uh, you're very welcome to, to be a part of our event here. And if you have any questions, it um, would be awesome if you contact us, if you try it on www.xnap360.com, um, or if you want any information, we have um, www.x-snap.net for more information about the lecture, what you saw today. Thank you very much and uh, have a nice weekend and see you soon or speak to you soon. Bye bye.